fellas and not fellas and everything in between we're going to talk about a few things on this here YouTube channel <clears throat> I got a list it's already a bad start but anyways let's get talking so this video will be going live Monday which is August whatever and then the next video should I think be August 15th yes August 15th and that is going to be the part 8 part 8 of the little Hemi build and when I say part 8 with little finger quotes is because all I did was really put the crankshaft in it and sorry for the spoilers but that's what we did um, you get to see how good it is and worked on my brother's engine it's on the engine run stand now and we also worked on dad's car for a little bit so it's a little bit of everything going on in that video pretty neat but uh, one thing I want to tell you is we uh, <clears throat> uh, oh God what's well, tell me <laughs> it's early in the morning kind of technically um, we did get rod bearings order for the 241 um, upon closer inspection they had some gouges in them and nothing that looked real nice and it wasn't, and it didn't hurt to crank. It wasn't from that. It was like someone else uh, beat on them with a chisel, what it looks like. They just don't look good. Or they try to hammer them out with a uh, screwdriver. So we got new ones coming. We bought an NOS set for $80 on eBay. And they're 2000 smaller or larger, however you want to look at it. Well, we checked everything out in terms of crank bearings, well, main bearings and rod bearings and... They are all well within their tolerance, so we're good there, and uh, I won't give away too much more. Um, and the next big thing, um, Thursday, August 16th, um, I will be going on a big trip to Illinois. I will be going to the small towns of Alito and Genoa, and what I'm doing there is finally picking up my 426 Hemi block, and potentially some other parts and meeting a bunch of my buddies up there I've never met before and we're all kind of excited and giddy like a bunch of schoolgirls. so it's gonna be pretty neat so there'll be a video of that us driving up there and if my buddies are cool with filming then we're gonna check out their stuff because I know they got a bunch of cool stuff um, one thing I do need to touch on ah, I'll do that later um, so dad's car Give you an update on it why there hasn't been much video on it um, we are currently waiting on windshield well a glass guy basically we got a brand new windshield brand new gasket and we got to get the back glass put in we could do the back glass but we want it all professionally done for dad's car and there's a local glass company here i won't name names but i've had friends who've had no luck with them in the past and i've never really had them do any work for me so we're not going to trust them because they broke a windshield for a buddy of mine and they ruined a couple of gaskets for them on the same deal and they won't cover it. So uh, we're not going to trust them with Dad's car. They scratch the paint or they break another windshield. Uh, no, we're not going through that. <clears throat> and while we're waiting on that, you know, we can't put any of the interior together because we don't want it to rain and then ruin the interior of the carpet so that's gonna have to wait but I appreciate you guys being patient I know you guys like seeing dad in his car so we're gonna get back to work on that um, my charger Jezebel it's still here trust me I just started up the other day and drove it around um, it's 505 stroker it is nearing completion I haven't talked to my machinist Mark at Advantage Machine here in a little bit but we're going to have it on the dyno, and you're going to see that. You're going to see the power it makes. And then, of course, after it's home, we have a four-speed swap, the Dana. Well, the Dana's already in the car, but we have the 505 stroker. We have the four-speed conversion. We're going to be doing subframe connectors, building a partial cage for it, making it safe, and all of this sorts of fun stuff. And that moves us on to the 426 Hemi. Mine. So as you know, if you don't know, did a little very series on this. My three thousand dollar budget Hemi, which I have two thousand dollars in, and if you pretend this is a real Hemi block, it's everything you see here. Two 
$2,000. And that's from wheeling and dealing, having good friends, being nice, having good karma, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a fairly complete 426. Um, I have uh, rods, pistons, rocker assemblies, which are in really great shape, good heads that aren't cracked. I got complete set of valves, um, aluminum water pump, oil pan, uh, special. I got a really cool oil pump. You know, Hemi tunnel ram. I got two options. Then I got the six pack Hemi intake, which we're going to make. The twin dominators, which are covered up for some reason. Um, this is the old distributor out of Jezebel, my Mallory dual point, which we scavenged for parts for dad's Hemi. And of course, my Zumi headers. And then there's a couple of sets of Hemi headers hanging up in the rafters behind you. So that's what's going on with here. So hopefully we're going to get started building this soon because I am eager because we have 12 to 1, 12, and, <clears throat> 12 to 1 compression pistons for it. So it's going to make some great noise. Um, so now on to some of the sadder topics. Um, videos might slow down, they may not. So take this with a grain of salt. So I have a really close friend of mine that I grew up with. I've known him since first grade, maybe a little earlier. But uh, he's been going through some really tough times. So instead of being here working on projects and filming, I've been out at his place. You know, not every day. Not nearly that much, but kind of being out there and helping him through some things. If he needs a ride, I just have to show up out there because he ain't got internet, he ain't got a phone. And I just have to show up and he lives on the other end of my town. So just trying to make sure he's okay. And then, of course, there's my personal life. You know, a girlfriend and all my buddies who want to hang out. So I try not to be antisocial. Um, and then, of course, the big topic why you don't see burnouts on my channel. I thought I'd address this. So, I live in a small town. It's not that small, but it's about 13,000 people with the city of Ottawa claims. Oh, God, now you know where I live. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care. But, uh, you know, you see what cars I drive. They're all pretty uh, garish, is that we say. You know, how many 70 Chargers are there running around town? I see Jezebel on the quarter panel. So it's kind of hard to go do burnouts and donuts anywhere in town or anywhere outside of town and not have cops after you. Whereas I'm really good friends with the police in Ottawa, um, still don't want to do that. And plus, tires are kind of pricey and we don't have a lot of money. I know it looks like we have a lot of money because we have a 426 here. We have two 68 to 70 chargers, um, two 426 enemies, the little 241, the... 505 stroker, the four speed, the trust speed, that means we're broke, <laughs> more or less. We just don't have a lot of money. And it's just, I love doing burnouts and I love donuts, I love all that stuff, but it causes excessive wear on a vehicle. And, you know, I could do burnouts and donuts and this channel would be like explode, it would just blow up. And we'd get a bunch of people coming to check it out, because who doesn't want to see a Hemi charge to do a burnout or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe Dad will do a burnout for you guys once it's done. I know I will at some point. We just got to find a good place to go do it. And, of course, I got videos I want to do. I got plans for reveals and stuff, so that's kind of what's going on. And I feel like this list made this video longer because the first time I filmed it, I was going to include it with the 241 build, but I decided... Now, I'm going to leave that its own deal, make this its own deal, so that way you guys, if you care, you can watch this and know what's going on. So, I think that's everything, guys. Um, I do want to thank you all. Uh, we were like at 1,399 subscribers last time I checked. So maybe we got one more. So, if you were my 1,400 subscriber, I like you. And I'll send you a cookie. <laughs> but I appreciate everything, guys. I appreciate everything you do for this channel, and I appreciate all the support. really does mean a lot to this. Uh, I'm just a regular Kansas guy, so that's all that matters. I don't know why that's all that matters. All that matters is you guys are cool to me. I like that. I try to be cool back. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this update. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. And, of course, well, you'll see me in the next one. 
building that little 241, and then road tripping to Illinois, getting parts for this puppy. Anyways, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.